When we got married, I was so happy. Honestly, I knew from the very first um, day with Megan that, that we would be together the rest of our lives. And then, like, everything just sort of blew up. There was this slow, ever slow separation of us till we get to this point where we almost don't even know each other. It almost seems easier to not even put any work into the, to the marriage. And then what started to happen very shortly after that was we would be in service at the beginning during worship and just, I don't know how else to explain it besides just overwhelmingly, like we were supposed to gift, we were supposed to give money to somebody and this was our worship leader at the time. And it was weird, like we both heard at the same time, do this and a very specific amount of money. And this is not a like, this isn't something that would be easy to talk about because we didn't have that kind of relationship. So we don't, I don't know who broached the conversation, but somehow one of us got the courage to tell the other, oh, I heard this, as cuckoo as this sounds. And the other one was like, I heard the exact same thing. So we end up going that night um, and say, hey, I don't know why, but I heard that I'm supposed to give you this money and I give him a check for some, some amount of money. And he just starts crying. And that day, like his refrigerator had gone out or his, one of his appliances had gone out. He had two small kids and they didn't know how they were gonna make it. So I get to go home and tell her and we start crying together, right? It's like, like how is this even remotely in any universe possible? Christ, he put something on our heart specifically for giving. And if we were obedient, he was showing us, he was so gracious and showing us how it would tie out. He knew that this was the thing that was gonna start bringing us together. Cause we couldn't really, we couldn't do anything else emotionally, but we could do this. And then as we saw his trustworthiness, we're, then you start to say, well, gosh, if, if he is this trustworthy, which he is proving to us every single day through giving, then how can he not restore this marriage if we will just lean into the marriage? It became way less about what Lonnie did or didn't do in the marriage or what I did or didn't do in the marriage in way more about who am I in Christ? And then as we both started chasing after Christ individually, we were just so much more open to owning our piece of it. We started having more conversations. We started praying together and um, we it began probably a two year journey to like restoring our marriage to eventually renewing our, our vows. God is trustworthy because no matter how small you bring Him, He will multiply and do so much more with your yes, with your obedience. But this time here is just so short and so temporary. There is no safer place to be than under the shadow of His wing. We have made a commitment to the 1010 life because of God's trustworthiness. This is between us and God. I just keep giving Him my yes, and I don't allow fear or what this world wants to say to have a voice in any of it, all for His glory. You know, we sit here in this in this series that we're in, this John 1010, and you've got this catalog. There's like 27 different numbers in there that are like, proof of what he can do if you sacrificially give. It's amazing and almost impossible that it can only be God.